Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Boss Labs. My name is Chu Gutierrez and today I'm here in my apartment and originally I was going to do a video on getting started with uh, printing your own photos on a Canon printer. Uh, but as I was getting my printer ready for this video, I got an error message and apparently my print head is dead on my printer, which means I need to buy a new one and reinstall it. And that sucks. It's like a $700 piece of uh, gear for this printer. Um, and I guess it's just the nature of the business and luckily printing is not a huge part of my business it's a small part of my business and it's something I really enjoy doing which is why I want to talk about it but it's gonna have to wait so unfortunately that kind of derailed my week um, that's my dog complaining that I keep talking but anyways um, I'm gonna follow this little section with a review I did on this printer for the photo brigade a few years ago so uh, yeah again if you have any comments or questions about printing please leave that down in the comment section below and once we do that video, I'll try to get to that um, if I have answers for you, if you have any questions about it. Uh, so that'll help. But in the meantime, please enjoy this review and we'll see you next week. All right. Um, hopefully you enjoy and hopefully you get something out of what I said a few years ago. Everything I say in that video pretty much still stands. Um, and I love printing. It hasn't changed. It's gotten better. I've tested new papers and it just gets way more fun with more media and media types. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy it and you catch, um, I don't know, some of the cheesiness of me putting, you know, photos on clothespins uh, on a hanging wire at my old studio because I thought it was funny because they were digital photos. But um, anyways, enjoy. Hey everybody, my name is Chu Gutierrez. I'm here with the Photo Brigade and today we're going to be talking about printers and one printer in particular, which is the Canon Pro 1000. The first camera I ever owned was a Canon 7D, and to some people that might date me, and to some people that might date me young, and you're right. Um, I never dabbled too much in film even today, and the closest I ever got to seeing a photo printed was when my family would take vacation photos in this little, almost disposable film camera and then get them developed. So since having a DSLR for almost 10 years, I've never had the urge to see my own work printed or in some sort of physical form, no matter how good I thought the photo was. I always had a computer screen, I always had a phone, even when I was leaving high school, iPhones were kind of becoming a thing, so I always had something in my pocket. And this is kind of the way I was thinking until just recently in December. It's when I got the Pro 1000 in, and for lack of a better way of putting it, it's kind of changed the way I look at my own photos, it's changed the way I look at other people's photos, and it's kind of just given me a new hobby. So let's look at some tech specs, and then we can go back to it. So this is the first photo I ever printed from the Pro 1000, and while it's not necessarily anything special in terms of photography or in terms of fine art, um, it's part of my Chewy Hand series that I did on social for about a year or two, and the important bit comes when it came out of the printer, and I was able to hold it and see it. Suddenly I remembered where I was, what I was doing, what I was thinking, what I was feeling, and that's something computers or Instagram or my phone have never been able to do for me, which is kind of cool. I have all these images that I've taken on my phone. They look great. I can show them to anybody at any time. But something changed when I saw my work on a nice piece of paper with some quality inks on it that I kind of don't ever want to go back from. So while that this is a Pro 1000 photo, this is a general statement about printing. Whether you're doing it now, whether you're thinking about doing it in the future, this is something to take note of um, because I always thought it was just paper and ink and it turns out it's a lot more. So since then I've been practicing more, learning more about printing, and these are a couple of things that I've learned along the way. So who's this printer for? As the name states, the Pro 1000 is a professional quality printer. It's got Canon's red line on it that you see on their L-series lenses. This is probably the biggest printer that I could fit in my New York apartment, but it's the smaller out of the lineup. This is my first photo printer, and I do recommend it 100% with a little bit of caution. This printer is large. It weighs about 75 pounds. It's a fast printer. It's an efficient printer. It's hassle-free. It's also demanding. It likes to print and to print often. While it runs its cleaning cycles from time to time to prevent clogging, the nature of the beast will occasionally have you running a deep cleaning cycle or two to prevent some of the bigger issues that may come across. 
This printer for someone who is maybe upgrading from a Pro 100 in their lineup if you're already using Canon printers. It's for the person who's looking to sell their own prints or who's already selling their own prints. Someone who's working with a printer that maybe can't print quite as large. This printer can print up to 17 by 22 inch prints. Um, or the hobbyist who has deep pockets. So if you fall yourself in any one of those categories, you might wanna be looking at this printer. I consider myself to be a little bit tech savvy and using this printer is pretty straightforward and pretty easy. I think uh, from opening the package to setting it up on the table and getting a first printout, it took an hour. So this included loading up the inks, uh, making sure I did some paper testing, um, connected to my network and downloading the software, which you can find on Canon's website. I think it might have taken me longer to put all the packaging and the excess stuff away than it actually took for me to set it up and print a photo. Now from there, that's where I guess you can say a little bit of the easy part kind of goes away. If you want to print, it's as easy as doing that. You can even send prints from your phone. If you have a photo that you need to print right away and you don't have time to get to your computer, you can send it from your phone and print it that way. But if you want to be in charge of the print quality, um, your ICC profiles, your color calibration, whether you let Photoshop, Lightroom, or any sort of third-party software control the color of the prints or you let the printer take control of the color, that's all up to you and that's stuff you can dive into. Those are things that the printer basically allows you. So fitting this into your workflow is pretty easy. Getting it to become part of taking your photo, editing your photo, printing your photo, easy. If you wanna dive into it though, that's where the fun begins and that's where the obsession kind of starts to take over and it's kind of rewarding. When using a printer of this caliber, like the Canon Pro 1000, there's a couple expenses that come into mind that come into play everyday stuff. While you won't be changing your print head you know, every month or so, there's certain things that you will be changing on the regular basis, and that's ink, paper, and maintenance cartridges with this one. All relatively you know, inexpensive when you're charging for your photos or your work, um, but if you're doing this as a hobby, something to keep in mind because those costs will add up a little bit. Something that does help this out is uh, Canon software. It's called Accounting Manager. And it's pretty easy to use. Basically what you do is you input how much you pay for your ink cartridges and what you pay for your paper. So it kind of splits it into um, how much ink is used and what kind of paper is used, how much you paid per sheet. And it comes up with the number total cost of each individual print or print job that you did on the printer. So if you're printing out, you know, 10 photos and they each cost you, you know, a buck 30, you'll be able to translate that over to the costs for your client or for yourself. So you know how much is going to each print you're making. Going into that too, as well as occasionally you will have to deal with certain things like um, a nozzle that might be slightly a little bit clogged or not. Um, the system has in place its cleaning cycles that it does automatically. And it's made it really easy. If you have any issues with any sort of minor clogging that you can kind of take care of it in the printer. Well, it's got, it's got automated cycles, but at the same time, it's got deep cleaning cycles and then system cycles that you can run through it before you have to call a tech or do anything like that. It can clean its rollers, it can clean the print head. You can align the print head. You can do all this pretty much from the printer itself or from the software that's included. And it's really just a couple of clicks and you've maintained your printer in perfect working order without having to talk to anybody, without having to ask someone to service the printer. And I find that super convenient, especially being someone who likes to figure things out myself before I reach out for help from anybody, whether it's photo related, and in this case, printer related. I find that super convenient. The printer is kind of self-cleaning, self-diagnosing, and self-repairing for the most part, unless you drop it or move it or do something crazy with it. It's really, really convenient to have this all in place at one time. The Canon Pro 1000 is an amazing instrument of precision and a beast at what it does. It makes photos just be more than what's on your computer screen. It lets you create work that you can sell and distribute. It makes you a better photographer. I know it's made me a better photographer in the last couple of months I've been using it. And if you're looking to upgrade or if you're looking to get into printing and you wanna buy something that's quality made, something that won't disappoint you and that won't let you down, definitely check out the Canon ProGraph 1000 and you won't be disappointed.
Thanks.